What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be my, I guess you can say, post-surgery video from getting my tonsils removed. I might stop as I'm talking to get myself together because I'm not 100% healed yet. But I can talk, so I wanted to make the video. Um, it's been a week and... Today's Saturday, a week and two. It's been a week and five days. Almost two weeks since I had the surgery. Um, I know that I've requested for me to do a before and after video. I did the before video, but when it was over, <laughs> it was like the worst feeling I ever had. So I, I didn't feel up to doing it afterwards. I was in so much pain. I was sick, vomiting, vomiting the whole the night. I cried for two days, the first two days, like, it was so painful. Um, I had to force myself to drink, even though it hurt so bad because they said, um, I have to stay hydrated. If I got dehydrated, I would have to go to the hospital, so I had to force myself to drink, and it was just horrible. They say when you get your tongue removed as an adult, it's more worse than... The, um, when you're younger and it was a mess you guys like if I knew that it was going to be like that I just would have kept my damn tonsils in it was so bad um I guess I'll say I started feeling a little better or not so sore after the third day I couldn't talk I, I just started back talking now and it it still hurts a little bit, but I can talk now. My throat is still sore, but nowhere near like it was. Um, a lot of you gave me some great tips on what to do. Like a lot of people said, make sure you take your meds on time or before time. You are so right. Like I'm surprised I didn't overdose. I was taking my medicine before time. I, went, I was on two different medications. One was a pain medication. The other one, I guess, was like some type of mouthwash or I don't know, for numbness. I don't know what it was for, but I was on two different kinds. I wanted two bottles of pain medicine in one week. Two bottles. Let me get the bottle for y'all. Two of these bottles. Like, I'm on my third bottle down. I walk around with this bottle and I just drink as I feel pain. Like I didn't even care. In my mind, I rather I rather had overdose than to feel the pain. Like I really didn't care. Um, but this really worked. I don't know what type of medicine it is, but something with codeine in it. It, it works real good. The other medicine that I was on, they didn't inform me that it was a possibility that you can get uh, constipated from it. So I was taking that medicine. I didn't go to the bathroom for probably like a week and two days. Even when I tried, I couldn't. So that was another thing that was wrong. I was in so much pain. My stomach was hurting. I couldn't go to the bathroom. Felt like I was about to deliver a baby. And I was about to go to the hospital. Like I told my mom to call 911. I took like, I took laxatives. I took four different, um, four pills of one laxative in one day. And then another two days, I had this drink stuff that you, like, put in your tea or something. I drank that. Like, it did not work. And as soon as I called 911, I went to the damn bathroom. It felt like I delivered a baby. Like, I was so mad at the doctor because it doesn't say on there that it's a possibility that you can constipate it. And he didn't tell me because if I would have known, maybe I would have been, you know, as I'm taking the medicine, taking laxative also. So, my stool wouldn't get so hard or whatever. This is like the worst experience of my life. <laughs> Besides the eating like the frozen treats, that was the good thing. But that's the worst part. I lost 18 pounds. 
which is another good thing for me because I'm wanting to lose weight. And since I haven't been eating that much, like I've been on a liquid diet, I think this, in a way, is kind of good for me because I kind of have trained my body that I really don't have to eat a lot of food like I normally do because I'm really greedy. So I think like once I do get better, I'm going to continue with like, not the liquid diet, but continue with like portioning my food and eating light stuff. Like, because I already lost a lot of weight in what, a week, a week and almost two weeks, 18 pounds, that's a lot of weight. <sighs> um, yeah, but I'm doing fine. I want to thank everybody who's been checking on me. Like, y'all really been showing me love. Y'all been hitting me up on Facebook or here. You know, checking on me, making sure I'm fine. People who know my number been texting me. Like, I really thank y'all for that. I'm definitely okay. Still kind of in recovery. So, I guess another week or so, I should be, you know, okay. They say healing time depends on the person. It can take from two weeks to two months. So, I'm hoping I'm one of the people that heal up fast, which I think I am, judging from past, you know, stuff that I had going on. But, yeah, I'm okay. I hope this video helped anybody that has to get this surgery done. Um, if you need any tips, my number one tip to you is take your medicine on time or a little bit before time. Um, ask your doctor about your medicines, you know, do it cause constipation. Like, what are some of the side effects? Like, because on the bottle, it mostly say cause drowsiness and stuff like that. I don't say nothing about other stuff that could be wrong. So, question them about your medicine. Um, expect to be very sore because like when I had the surgery done they had to put a tube all the way down in me I guess so I can breathe while they was doing it because when they woke me up I was kind of like sitting upward like this so I'm assuming that's how they did it and even the inside of my body was so like it felt like I was working out so you know just be prepared to be very sore you're not going to move you're not going to be bothered definitely have somebody to help you like Shout out to my mother father. Like, they really been my, <laughs> they really been helping me. Like, they been my nurses. My mom been doing everything for me around the house. And my dad will come over and, like, get the stuff I need. Like, I, I drank a lot of apple juice and water. You can't drink nothing red um, or eat nothing red. Because if you throw up, they wind up, you throwing up blood. Um, but I actually feel better. I actually breathe better. My mom and them said that they haven't been hearing me snoring. Because they said I snore like a lion. And... Okay, I'm feeling better. I just want to get more better so I can get back in my normal routine because I've just been like real lounging. I haven't been doing my hair. I need to fill in. Like, it's just been a mess. But I want to come to you guys, let you know I was alright, and, and make the video in case it might help someone else. So, thank you guys for watching. I do miss you. I have been watching your videos for those of you that I watch. So, don't think I'm completely MIA. Love you guys and until my next video. Mwah.